Okay, I'm going to be showing you how to measure one milliliter of water. You need to find out how many drops are in one milliliter of water. So we're going to start with a graduated cylinder here. And first thing you need to do is look at the marks on the graduated cylinder and make sure that you know what the smaller marks represent. On this one, it goes from 11 to 13, and in between that is 12. And so these smaller marks represent, this is 11.2, 11.4, 11.6, 11.8, and then 12. Okay. Next thing I need is I need the beaker and I need a pipette. I'm going to be counting how many drops it takes to make one milliliter. But because drops are not exact amounts, I'm going to do this three times and then find an average. So first what I will do here is I'll start with a certain amount of water in my graduated cylinder. So I'm going to put, I'm going to pour, I'm going to start at the 10 milliliter mark, which is right about there. First I'm going to pour the water in. And as you can see, I went way over the 10 milliliter mark, which is here. So I'm going to pour the rest of that out, pour some of that out. Now I poured too much. So now at this point, it's best to use the pipette. And fill it up to 10. And look at it from the side. This is a good angle to see. It's about at 10. Now what I'm going to do is see how many drops does it take to get to 11, and I'm going to start counting. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I'm getting pretty close. 13, 14, 15, a few more. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Make sure you're reading the bottom of the meniscus. That's the bottom of that bubble that you'll see. 22, 23. Still a little bit more. 24, 25. Okay. Oh, a little bit more. Okay, and I'm going to stop there, and then I'm going to write that down in my data table. And then I'm going to go from 11 to 12, and I'm going to count again. Now remember that 12 is right here. It's not all the way up here. That's 13. Okay, and then I'm going to do the exact same thing again. I'm going to count how many drops does it take to get to 12, and then I'm going to count how many drops it takes to get to 13. And then once I've done that, I'm going to find an average.